Hello, my name is King Monsieur, and welcome to another video. Where today, we are gonna do a couple things in this video. Not major things, but there are some special surprises I've got to show you. It's been like a month, so let's show you what I did. And please ignore the snoring in the background. Yeah, but anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and share the video if you want. If you could all do that, that would be lovely. Now anyways, let's get started with the video. So, the last video was a Christmas video, so of course, since it's no longer Christmas, I took down all the decorations from here. In fact, there's no longer a tree outside, or as much snow, because the Christmas magic has come and left. It was still a great thing. Okay, and I've got other things to show you as well. One of the many things I worked on within the past month is... This hallway I was talking about in one of my videos. And it all leads to this very special room. I imagine you probably won't know what's behind that door. I imagine you could probably hear it already. But... But... I made a relaxation room. For all my pets. I still don't have any names for these dogs, so... If you have any names, please tell me in the comments. And I got a couple cats recently. This one's named Pooji. It's my version of, well, another word for a cat. I won't say it because I... Yeah, it's not exactly a good word. This is Fluffy. This is Jelly. Which is actually based off good, time with, good Times with Scar's cat in real life. So, I decided to respect it. Although, I don't know if I spelled it right, but it should be okay. And then this one's named Mittens. We actually... I actually got this on the Christmas episode. And then, of course, we got Scuttlebutt. Because you used to walk on your butt. And this is what I'll show you in the next clip. And this is a coffee machine. Just make your imagination. And we've got cups. We've got a table here. We've got this spore blossom to add some atmosphere. And of course, we've got my birdie, Carolinia. Now, you're in there. Stay. There we go. Of course, that's one of the many things. I'll show you something else in the next clip. So, one of the things I've been working on, and actually partly finished, is this house. This bank. I don't remember what this was going to be, but... It's finished. At least the roof is finished. I can't wait until it's like all teal and stuff. It'll be so beautiful. I still need to work on it though. I still need to work on it though. And no, of course that inside still Still, <laughs> but 
then of course, here we've got the outside of the little room with our pet, with our pets, and got a little airplane up there, you know, to bring some atmosphere, which would be a lovely thing. And yeah, that's what I've got to show you over here. Now there's a really special thing I've got to show you right over there. It's really special. Okay, I'll show you in the next clip. Okay, so this is one of the things I've got to show you all. It's this little dock wrapping around thing. And I decided to build it because I wanted an easy access to over here, this dockyard over here. And I'm thinking about, you know, making a cliff face over here, make a real pretty one. But anyways, that's not the only part of the point of this thing. Over here, we have a special place. Which is actually going to have its own unique video of its own right. Can't wait for you all to see it. I'm planning to upload it the day after this episode releases. And of course there's a drowned body. But this is my biome. I've been like at least three weeks working on this? I don't remember. But it's got a lot of things. You'll see in the final video. Um, so in that video, I decided I would try to replicate a lot of nature documentaries I used to watch growing up, such as David Attenborough, if any of you know him. God, his voice when he commentates over the nature life. It's so fun. And of course, I have tried to replicate it. As well. But yeah, that's what I've got to show you here. Now, of course, um, with all this progress comes a big, huge problem. You see, I have a whole lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff. That I don't know what to do with. So, I'm planning on making on making a shop called King Monsieur's Bare Necessities. If you don't know what the Bare Necessities stands for, it comes from a certain song from um, The Jungle Book, which is a Disney movie, where a movie I didn't really grow up with, but it is still a fun song. Da -da. Bare necessities, a simple bare necessities, a simple bare necessities of life. Yeah, that's basically how the song goes but I don't remember the rest of the lyrics but I want to make a shop where basically I have a whole lot of deep slate and other things as well so let's make it in a time lapse of course because I'm not gonna you know bore you with like 30 plus minutes of me, like, um, building something. Especially as I have a really bad habit of, you know, counting the blocks as I go. But anyways, let's get started with the time lapse. <laughs> Ba 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 
finished with the ma majority of the shop the upper floor is still a work in progress that will be open to customers soon but let's show you what it looks like so we've got the um little shop here King Monsieur's Bare Necessities. We've got a little path with some flowers oh, to make it all pretty. The back, the back is um, interesting. You may know that from the time lapse. But let's have a look inside. King Monsieur's Bare Necessities. We've got paintings. So, yeah, this is not ready for customers yet. It's still in development. But, this, for the time being, this is um, what they can look out of. You know. Um, there's the sea, and then there's the lovely weed field. Which I added for mainly aesthetic reasons, but anyone can, um, you know farm for crops there as long as they replant it back when they're done because it takes a very long time to do that so yeah but anyways um the pricing is based on how how long it actually take what it takes to actually get the item like for copper it's a pain just to get so it is five diamonds per stack of copper blocks. And cactus still is a bit difficult, but it's it's okay. And stone I have to smelt. Sugar cane, it's very easy to get. Redstone, also a little bit difficult. I have to do a lot of mining. Wood logs are cheap, obviously. And this is a mix of regular deep slate and cobble de deep slate. It's um, what I had extra, so I just put it here. And then tough again, very hard to get. 
Golden apples. Well, these are regular golden apples, which means golden gets apples. Pretty easy to get. So basically, if you apply for a 50% discount membership card, it's 20 diamonds. Like this. And there's a pay here where you pay in diamonds. And yes, I will check if they actually paid. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the shop so far. There's green carpet, you know, to bring some hominess to it. Yes, I know the meaning of the word homie, but I still like using it because I have a different connotation to it. But yeah, there's paintings on the wall, and there's a little flower just by the window. You know, just some little homie homeliness. But, yeah. So, I'm actually planning on putting, like, a rest area somewhere in the shop. You know, so shoppers can rest a little bit. While they shop, but anyways, that's the tour of it. And this is what it looks like on the outside. I'm probably still gonna work on it off camera, but, like, that's what they look like. And over here, we've got a large wheat field, purely for aesthetic reasons. Guys, I, I like the look of wheat, okay? It looks wonderful. So, yeah. That's um, the shop done. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. It took at least a few days to make. Well, just to record, by the way. Because off up behind the scenes, I was actually moving around quite a lot. So, yeah, I couldn't get enough time to actually record. Uh, but that's the case. Also, I have... I'm gonna leave some of my socials in the description. I haven't really done that before, so please check them out. There'll be links in the description, and there are also links in my about page on my channel. But anyways, thank you for watching. Bye!